Hi there. So one of the uh, most important things on the double bass as far as technique is concerned is intonation. So let's take a few minutes and talk about that and I'll give you a great little exercise to work on yours. Now, as we all know, measuring the uh, precision of our notes is way more accurate with the bow. So for this one, I have picked the bow up and um, I'm going to go through this little exercise for you with the bow. Okay, now it is a very, very simple thing that I'm going to show you here. And all it is, um, it's going to teach you to take a semitone leap from, from your first finger, let's say uh, from this A note here. And so we we'll just, we'll just take a semitone leap but we will not use that uh, semitone note. We will use that as an interim note. And so from that A, take that semitone leap to a B flat with your first finger and then play the B natural with your second finger. So our note is an actual whole tone and coming from the A, using a semitone in between as an interim note and then eventually playing that C, playing that B, that target note will, I'm pretty sure, will give you a very good intonation, a very good accurate uh, way to intonate or to play these two notes here. So again from the A, semitone, shift, so you can play the B with your second finger and then we'll add a C as well. And that gave us a nice little minor run. Let's say this could be the first, the second, and the third note of a minor scale. So in, in this case, it would be an A minor. So A, A, semitone, intermittent note, the ninth, the B, and then the C, the third. Again. Now, I have made this shift on purpose very, very slow. In real life, of course, we will play that a little bit faster, but it's great to embed these motions into your hand and into your, the uh, distances into your fingers, and then it will be much easier to, um, to later speed them up. Just one more time, this is an A with an intermittent B flat and onto the B and C. A to the B and C. Now, once I finished on the C here, my first finger would actually land on a B flat, right? Correct. So now let's do the same thing from that B flat. So we'll take that B flat. So now we are quasi playing the first three notes of a B flat minor scale. So B flat on your first finger, pull that up to a B natural. So you can play the C with your second finger and then the D flat, the third with your fourth finger. So you get the picture, and this is what I'm gonna do all the way up until I reach this G note here, this octave G. Okay, so let's go from this B flat now. So B flat, semitone to a B, play the C, and then play the D flat. Now that will put, us, uh, put our first finger on the B. So here's that B. And now that's semitone up to C. Play the C sharp with your second finger and a D. Again from the B. C sharp. And then to the D. Again, B. C sharp. And just one more time, B. Semitone to C. C sharp and then D. Now at this point I can play the C semitone up to a D flat and play the D and to the E flat. Now at this point I should be on the C sharp with my first finger. Yeah, so C sharp, semitone up to a D, play the D sharp and then an E at the end with your fourth finger. Yeah, now at this point I should be on the D, correct? My, with my first finger. So let's play from there. So that would be a D minor scale or the first three notes of this D minor scale anyway. So D up to a D sharp and then play the second finger, play the E with the second finger and then F again from the D, D semitone up to a D sharp 
E with your second finger, and then the F with your fourth finger. That's correct. Now that will give us an E flat on the first finger. And now we could go up from that E flat, so th this will be an E flat minor. So coming up from this E flat, a semitone will give us an E. Play the F, and then play the G flat. Yeah, correct. You can you can hear that lovely big major, major third or major tenth between the D and G flat or D and F sharp. Yeah. So again from the E flat, F to G flat. And then last but not least, let's go from this E note here with your first finger. E. Up to the F with your first finger. Now F sharp second finger. And now this time I would actually change to my third finger to play the G. So coming into the thumb position, of course, we will replace our fourth finger with our third finger. But that's a whole different story. So we just finished on this G here. So let's go back to this E note here. So from that E again, E up to an F. Play the F sharp. Check with the D. That's the F. And then the, just the G with your third finger. You can play that as a harmonic, but eventually we'll probably actually stop that note because we need it on the way um, down as, as we'll um, descend with this line. Okay, so we have got up all the way up here. And so we came from this A note here, and if you just quickly, I'll just, I'll just quickly play this ascending phrase. So A, B flat, B, B, C, C sharp. E-flat, E-flat, and then E. Now let's turn it around and let's descend back all the way to this A note here, okay? So we'll come from the third note down to the second note and then eventually down to the first note of each of these minor scales here. Okay, so we'll start with the E minor scale and we'll start on the G on the third note of it. Now I'm gonna actually make that G a stopped note here, so I can come from that G, pull, pull my third finger back and replace it with my fourth finger on, with, on the F sharp. Again, G. That's a very small little distance there, so be careful. So from the G again. The open D string. F sharp and then play the E. Great. Now let's go back to this G flat here. Now we are in E flat, so we'll have G flat, F, and E flat. And let's pull that fourth finger back from the G flat to an F. And then play that F and then play the E flat. Now that will put my fourth finger on the F here, which will give us D minor, so we'll play the, the F. Now pull that fourth finger back to an E, play the E, and then play the D. This is hard to do when you speak as well, so I'm just gonna play it for you. So F, E, and D, correct? Now from an E, so we'll have E, C sharp, and D sharp. E with your fourth finger. D sharp with your fourth finger. So that's the shift, E to D sharp. And then C sharp. And now that will put the um, E flat under, under our fourth finger. So let's come back from an E flat, D, and C. So that's C minor. E flat, D, and C. That we'll put our fourth finger on the D. Now that is B minor, so we have a D sliding down to the uh, C sharp. Play the C sharp and then a B. And then we 
get a C sharp or let's call it a D flat and that will be a B flat minor so D flat down to the C and then down to the B flat now that will give us a C and that will give us the A minor where we started from so C slide down to the B slide down to the B play that B and then play the A Maybe check with a D, a nice fifth, or with an A, an octave. Okay. Now this is a very simple little exercise. However, by the time you've done it from this A note here, all the way up to the G and back, you will have really worked your fingers and uh, you will have actually really started to put in these semitone shifts into your first finger and also on the way back or descending into your fourth finger. And those are very, very important little segments of playing that will really clean up your intonation altogether. Okay, now I'm just going to wrap up by playing the full exercise for you here. And hope you're well, and thanks a lot for watching. Mm -hmm.